Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet, and we have a crazy 3v3 random sort of game going on here. Um, none of these players... Uh, well, let's let's start off by introducing them. I don't believe these are pro players, but they are pretty good, I believe. Anyway, in Team 1, up the top left side of the map, we do have our uh, blue Zerg player, Jonathan. Our red Zerg player, Hollow Point. And our teal Terran player, Mandalore. And that's going to be Team 1. In Team 2, we do have our purple Protoss player, Clavy. Clavy. And you're going to have our orange... Did I just... Yes, yeah, an orange Terran player, a Primeval. Primeval. Uh, and our yellow Protoss player, Maniac. And in fact, it looks like we've got it from the, uh, the point of view of Team Number 2. We've got their ally chat going on. So that's pretty awesome. And yeah, we're just going to be checking out what happens in this game. We've got a couple of uh, early spawning pools coming down. I believe this may have been 8 pools, maybe 6 pools, something like that. So it looks like Team 1 may be going for something a little bit crazy. Of course, the Terran player... He's going as fast as he can, but he's not going to be able to keep up with a 6 pull. And unluckily, this yellow probe choosing to scout the Terran player before the Zerg players, because if he counted, um, if he did the Zerg players first, he would have seen the spawning pulls. And then Team 2 might have been a lot more forewarned about this uh, very early Ling push coming out now. You can see the blue Zerg players' uh, Ling's already coming out, so that's pretty damn fast. The red ones are coming out as well. and. Yeah, not too much going on here. He's uh, still just build, trying to build his barracks, so I don't think there's going to be an attack coming out anytime soon from him, but he will try. He's going to get some Marines out anyway. And Team 2 looks like they've, uh, <laughs> they've finally figured out the uh, six pull is coming on. So, yeah, not too much going to be happening. Going for the Protoss first, which is a fairly good choice for a six pull. And the SCV just about to die there. Yeah, there it goes down. So yes, now uh, Clavy is in a lot of trouble. He's got a Zealot close to the mineral line, and that's a pretty good idea. But he's got to make sure not to let this guy get surrounded. And there we go, total surround. He's trying to get a cannon up, but whether or not that'll get up in time, I'm not sure. These Ling's trying to attack the pylon, but that's not going to work. There's another pylon over here protecting it. And so they decide to go straight for the cannon instead. Managed to take it out. Another cannon going down there. But now they've got a little bit of time. The Zealot coming out though, and he's going to wipe out a lot of Lings. They're not staying together. One set going for the probe, the other set going for the Zealot. And a little bit of reinforcements are going to help, but they have not done a massive game-breaking amount of damage so far. And now with the cannon out, the Lings are just going to start getting shredded apart. They've got no chance of taking this out. And reinforcements, there's actually a bunker down here for Primeval. Our orange Terran player just manages to get the wall up. So really, really great job there. He's already got his own wall up, although he doesn't have a bunker down here. So maybe the blue link's thinking about going up here. There's going to be one marine defending it, but that should be enough considering there's a full wall in here. And yeah, really, really nice defense from uh, from Team 2 so far and holding off those links. A couple more links coming in here, along with a fair amount of marines from Mandalore. And that should be quite enough to take out these two zealots. And yeah, the orange and purple players are going to have to back him up, but I don't think uh, purple has much, so it's just going to be down to orange to sort of help out. He's uh, got a couple of marines, and there was a zealot that already went to help out there, and yeah, he's going to have to come back. His one, one gateway has been unpowered, the other one still got some power, but these marines are going to be very, very good at killing the workers if they decide to do so. Mainly just Ling's attacking this pylon. And with some... Uh, actually, he sent down quite a lot of SCVs to help hold this off. So, great choice here. The Marines are going to be doing some very nice micro. The Zealot goes down, but there's another Zealot out here. And with the Marines providing support, all of these Teal Marines are going to go down. And look at this Primeval deciding to put down another... Uh, another gate over here to try and... Uh, you see, he's trying to defend all three bases at the moment with these bunker and supply depot combinations, but it looks like he probably won't need to finish it. I think the, uh, I think these guys have been pushed back for now. Just stopping short of that jungle there, so great job. And yeah, meanwhile, Hollow Point and uh, Blue Zerg Jonathan have decided to expand off this, so definitely keeping an eye on things, going for some nice expansions. Um, yeah, so really, really great job there. 
They did some nice fast attacks, but yeah, Team 2 doing a very, very good job of holding that off. And yeah, Primeval definitely all over the place here, defending all of his uh, all of his um, mates, helping them out. So really, really great job. Scouting Probe over there, not going to see much. We do have a Roach Warren on the way for our Blue Zerg. We've already got one out for Hollow Point, so we can expect a nice early mid transition into a ton of roaches which is always a good strategy in uh in group games and we've actually got a lot of uh wow banshees banshees for mandalore so this is going to be very very interesting um i'm not sure how well they complement the roaches i don't think they're an excellent complement but i don't think they're too bad either i mean the the thing they've got to worry about i guess is a lot of marines a lot of uh ground now the roaches could probably do a pretty good job against both of these. I'm a bit worried though, that's a lot of marines for team number two. So I'm not sure if the roaches are really going to uh, do that much versus this many marines. Maybe uh, if, uh, yeah, if our Teal Terran player was uh, anticipating that, he might have been uh, thinking about Hellions maybe. But I don't know, maybe he's just doing, uh, just doing Banshees, he just wants to go in and get some nice hits down. He does have Cloak just about to finish, but still a little bit further. And yeah, going in and taking this out nice and quickly. Bunch of Marines still hanging around, so they should be enough to scare it off. Cloak is still about 10 seconds away, and this Benji could definitely go down in 10 seconds if he is not careful. He's going to get out of range, and he's going to come back with Cloak, but it's only going to take a scan to, uh, to see him off. Although if he does everything right, he can take out those three Marines before the scan comes down enough to take him out. So we'll see if that happens, and it looks like... Uh, Mandalore is just waiting for a bunch more Banshees before going in. We can have, if we have a look, actually it looks like that Blue Zerg player is going for a Spire, so he may not be getting a ton of Roaches after all, but we have a look at the army size. Not too many Roaches, he's definitely going for Mutas here. A whole bunch more Roaches for Red. Four Banshees so far, it's not bad. Purple is still, um, still clawing back. I feel like he could have been clawing a little bit faster than he currently has been, but yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? And Actually, look at Yellow, man. Yellow is teching up nice and fast. And here we go. The scan just able to... I don't know how he can see these guys. Oh, there we go. We've got scans coming down all over the place. But eventually the Marines go down. And the Banshees are going to get to work on these pro forces. Really, really good job here from these Banshees. Lost one so far, but the rest are going to go down. And this entire Marine army is going to come up. All it's going to take is one scan anywhere near those Marines. And it's not going to work. And uh, Teal player very, very wisely deciding to move on to the next base. All the Marines are very, very much out of position. And they can get a lot of work and kills here. And here we go. Putting some missile turrets down. But that's just a tad too late for Mr. Orange. A Phoenix coming out. And this is going to be really, really nice. The Phoenix coming out. The Banshees have nothing to counter this. And I think they're going to go down here anyway. All it is is one scan. And yeah, these guys are going to be dead, but they are still getting the SCVs. There we go. Scan comes down. The Marines aren't quite in position anymore, but one Banshee comes down to Phoenix Fire. The other one is out of energy, and that goes down as well. But they did get an on, I don't know, I'm going to say 20, 30 workers or something stupid like that, man. They got quite a lot. Look at this guy's down to 15, man. I'm pretty sure he, uh, he is not happy about being down to 15 workers. Meanwhile, I've got a fair amount of Colossus coming out. And we've got Mass Marine here. He's starting to get out the Phoenix Purple, so that's that's something. But I'm not sure how useful he's going to be in this battle as a whole. Meanwhile, we've teched out Teal's going for Mass Marines, and it's just Ling Roach for the rest of them. I thought the blue was going for a Spire at some point, but it uh, doesn't look like he's really going for any air units as of yet. Uh, if we have a look at the uh, resources... He's got 500 gas, so I don't know what the hell he's waiting for. He should probably start building the muters. He's probably waiting for all these marines to die. I mean, seriously, I, I guess I guess it probably is a fairly good idea when there's that many marines not to build muters. He is building banelings instead, and gee, does we don't have the upgrades on this thing, but if we have a look at the banelings, does he have baneling speed? I don't know. No, he does not. So he doesn't have baneling speed. So that's not good, but I, sp I suppose he should still be fine. And meanwhile, I've got all sorts of crazy tech, man. A Mothership Core coming out. More Colossus, a Ghost Academy. So Team 2 really starting to tech up, really starting to show what they're on about. And Team 1, I think they might be a little bit caught off here. They've got some half-decent forces. 
The Banshees are doing a lot of good work, but yeah, they are going to get wiped out by the Phoenix, slowly but surely. The Colossus and the Marines over here. And here we go, the Banshees with the Colossus doing a great job at hitting them. However, they do get off the hits they need to do on the Marine Force. All of those Marines going down, and I think the uh, rest of the forces should be able to mop up these forces. I mean, these Banshees, uh, they took quite a few hits from the Phoenix, but mostly they've been doing a great job. He's trying to warp in some more units there, but I think the battle's been lost. And warping in these units just a bit of a waste here. Here we go, the Roach is going to finish everything off. And these Phoenix men, they're good versus Muters. But I, I don't know, man. I do not know if you want to build enough Phoenix to actually deal with the Muters. Because, yeah, that many Phoenix, man, they just become so useless versus certain unit compositions. And let's have a look at the expansions, actually. Purple hasn't. Yellow hasn't. Um, yellow, I feel like he should have by now. Purple, well, his, his one got taken by orange, so he's probably not comfortable expanding out to the top. Maybe you can expand there, but yeah, I don't know. Expansion stealing, man. This is this is purple's expansion. You shouldn't take it, all right? I, I do not like expansion stealers. If it's a if it's a general third base for everybody, and you're the fastest, yeah, then, yeah. I mean, why not? If you can take it and not have zero army at like the seven minute mark because you're too busy expanding, then yeah, sure. But right next to your base, man, don't don't do it. I mean, just red has the oh red had expanded, but his expansion got lost. I suppose this is a very open sort of expansion, which is why Orange didn't want to take it, but there we go. We've actually got some interesting... Ah, look at that, man. A nuke and a Nexus, man. This is beautifully timed. I do not know if the nuke actually kills things when the uh, Nexus is still going, but we will have to see. Beautiful, beautiful timing there. So coming at just the right second. I don't know if there was actually planned or whether... Uh, it's uh, possibly that one person was controlling multiple armies. <laughs> maybe Yellow was controlling the nuke as well, or maybe it was just beautiful timing. I really can't say. It looks like it may have been Purple, because Purple is controlling these Marauders as well. So yeah, really, really nice stuff there. And we'll have to go back and uh, check that out in a little bit more detail after this game is finished off. But yeah, it's just going to be wiping out these guys. And it looks like it's pretty much over for team number one. They're just completely overwhelmed by that one attack. And I think even if the new cat had gone down, they probably would have just said, you know what, this army is just too massive. I'm just going to give up. And yeah, so there we go. Finishing off, getting it done. And I don't know, man, Teal, Teal still thinks he's in it. Red still thinks he's in it. He's getting 10 muters out. And I really don't think that's going to make any difference. Look at how many stalkers there are out here. Teal actually setting up a nice sort of attack here, but he's got the low ground, and he's only got two tanks, and with this many Marauders, I mean, the only reason that Teal is still alive is because uh, nobody's paying attention on team number two, but it is going to get taken out. Somebody's paying attention, somebody's finally starting to attack him, and they all get wiped out. So a bit of a mistake there by team two, but they're already so far ahead, I don't think it really matters. And yeah, we're, we're, how, much, how much longer does this thing go? Another three minutes. How does it keep going for three minutes? I don't know. These muters moving out, doing some stuff. Another army from Teal, and somebody is calling out for some more nukes. I don't know what there's left to nuke, really, but the muters are going to be going in there, and stalkers coming out, but the stalkers are going to get taken out. The muters are going to take some hits, though. And I don't know, man. Is it just a uh, sort of... I, I don't think uh, Team 1 has a chance of winning anymore, but we'll just keep watching to see uh, see what sort of crazy stuff they get up to. A bunch of Marines come in, and yeah, these guys are going to go out. He's actually got out the Corruptors to take care of the Phoenix, I think, but Corruptors are not that good versus Marines, as uh, as would be obvious. And there we go, a bunch, uh, bunch of guys coming in here. Teal still building a ton of units. He's building a ton at a time, so it's really nice for him managing to get one Colossus. And there we go, Red is out of the game, it's only Teal left, Teal is still wants to have a go. And yeah, just um, just keeping on, keeping on going. He's managing to take out a few Colossus, I've got to give him that. But, ah yeah, actually he might take out all of them, but the Marauder, just going down at the last second, and this Colossus will survive. But it's kind of elementary because, yeah, I mean if we have a look at the army size, Teal has just got nothing. He's half the size of his uh, least opponent. It's just too overwhelming, so he's just going to have to tap out sooner or later. 
He really is building a lot, but it's just not quite enough. And right now he's probably saying, oh god, my allies suck, man. It's just my bad luck to get in a game with sucky allies. And yeah. There we go. The Mothership Core actually might go down here. He's close. He's very close, but not quite getting it down. And uh, Mothership Core in there. Looks like they're doing it on a bunch of workers this time, so we will check this one out. There we go. The workers coming back out. Boom. And that's pretty impressive. So it's a very, very nice strategy there. And that obviously just uh, completely broke Mandalore. He did not like the uh, idea of that Nexus nuke. And definitely, definitely left the game right there. So really, really good job by uh, team number two getting in there. Tr team number one tried to do some stuff early. But yeah, the, uh, the Terran player really doing some great support. Looking after his allies, making sure they didn't die. Really, really good team effort. And I believe these guys are actually... Uh, actually like a proper like a proper team. I don't know if a proper team, but I think they pl I think it is a pre-made team at least. Something like that. I don't know about the other team whether they're pre-made. It didn't seem like it. But then again, I couldn't read ally chat, so yeah. Um definitely neck uh, the uh, the vortex then the nuke. It's uh it seems like it would be a good idea and it definitely is a good idea if you can catch the uh, if you can catch the army in it and if you can get the timing right. I'm not sure if it's just um, nuke takes as long to get down as the vortex does, but yeah, I suppose when you're in a when you're in a team game, Protoss and Terran, you can do all sorts of crazy stuff. So anyway, there we go. Thank you very much for watching this game. It's very very interesting. Saw that great uh, vortex nuke. Saw some great attacks, and I've actually got some more team games coming up as well. I actually, got found some pro team games. So it's not something you see every day. Is a three game series. I think it's between Mouse Sports and Team Empire 2v2. Uh, very, very much looking forward to casting that. And yeah, we will be casting that uh, uh, the next day or so. Um, just taking a break between tournaments. Dreamhack Valencia has been cast. And yeah, we are going on to the uh, Asus ROG Summer 2013 tournament coming up, which is uh, it's going to be awesome. So I sh you should expect to see that next week or this week or I don't know, whenever I upload this video. It will depend, but all right, thank you very much for watching this, and uh, maybe I'll do a ladder game as well, man. I feel like doing some random stuff between tournaments, and yes, you will see what I cast because I will upload it, and you will see it, and you will see it even better if you subscribe i promise so there we go thank you very much for watching uh it's been harry muppet i hope you enjoyed this game